What's going on everyone, Captain Horn here. Welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 video. I hope you enjoy watching and maybe even learn a thing or two from this video. Before we begin, if you would like to see more Microsoft Flight Simulator content, please consider subscribing to my channel. It takes less than 5 seconds and it would greatly help my channel out. If you are interested in supporting myself and my channel, be sure to check out the different tiers in my Patreon for different rewards. If you are interested in becoming an active member in my community, or would like to find others to fly with in Microsoft Flight Simulator, feel free to join my Discord. The link to both my Patreon and Discord are in the description. Let's get right into this video. So everybody, today I'm going to show you how you can essentially get something that's similar to Ortho 4XP that we use for X-Plane and how you can increase the level of detail in certain regions in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Now this is really simple to do, but I I don't think a lot of people know how to do this and I actually came across this by accident. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Now all you want to do is head to the main menu of Microsoft Flight Simulator like we have right here. And then head over to the options tab just like this and then go to general and after we are in general we can go to data which is like this very middle tab right here and then scroll down just like this and at the very bottom we're going to see manual catch and click view just like this and now this is the entire world you're going to have to scroll out because it is probably going to be zoomed in like that and we see we have the entire world here. Here's the United States. We have Europe over here, Africa, South America, and all the entire world. And if I zoom in, we see I already have boxes of regions that I've already selected that I want to be more detailed. Now, yours isn't going to look like this, obviously. What you need to do is come over to this catch location right here. And I've set mine in my G, just Microsoft download that temp. And... It, you need to put it somewhere where there's a lot of storage because this is going to take some memory from your computer. So all you want to do is click on this and just set a location. I recommend like I have it in a terabyte. So I have 944 gigabytes available. It needs to be somewhere very large. And you right here we have the maximum overall catch size. Now this is um, the maximum that you want to catch. And I, I only have mine set to 200 gigabytes. But... I could go up to like 500 if I wanted to and then you would for me it says modify catch but for you it's probably going to say something else but set the size that you want the maximum overall catch to be and then start it and it's going to take a while like mine for 200 gigabytes took I'd say 30 to 45 minutes and but it, it doesn't take too long and after that's done what you can do is go ahead and start selecting regions on this map so say I wanted a lot of Florida well what you would want to do is come to catch new region down here. Yours is not going to have any of this. Yours will have catch new region. And just click that. And now we have some controls here and we have catch quality. Say I wanted Miami, Florida, which is going to be right here. Now you'll notice that it says low and it has this low highlighted. And you can paint, it says, by just right clicking. And then you can see I, I'm making the box bigger. And then when I release, it fills it in with that blue color and we can remove it by pressing control and right clicking and removing like that now it says low quality but if i zoom in even further you'll notice these boxes just got smaller and it switched to medium quality and i can select as much as i want here and it even auto fills in some low quality boxes around it so that's really nice right there and if i wanted to go even further here I'm gonna delete this by pressing control there we go if I wanted to go even further in then I can just scroll in and these boxes are going to get even smaller right there they just switched to even smaller you see that right there and now this high box is highlighted and let's say I wanted to select this airport which um, I'm not even sure what this airport is uh, it kind of looks like Miami International but it's not that big Anyway, if I wanted this airport, I could select that. And now we have high quality boxes, medium quality boxes, and on top of that, we have low quality boxes. So that is very nice. And after you are done with that, what you wanna do is you can name your region if you want. So I could name it Miami, just like that, and hit finish and download. And it will download Miami. And obviously, if you do a higher catch, 
then it's going to take longer because that will take more memory. And if you do lower catches, then it's not going to take that long. And see, it's not this that bad at all. It's only going to take, it says 41 seconds. So that is good there. So yes, everybody, that is pretty much the built-in Ortho 4 XP into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. It's a great way to increase quality of frequently visited locations. And it's a nice little trick that I don't think many people knew about. So that is that, guys. That's going to do it for this video. If you're new to the channel, please do like and subscribe. Don't forget, I do have a Discord and a Patreon. Both of those links are in the description. I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching this video. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody.